Uh, hello, uh, I like to make today uh, flower garden cupcakes. They're very good for Mother's Day or for girls type of birthday or girls parties. Um, very easy to make and it looks great as well. So what we do is we need a big cupcake, uh, cupcakes in the white uh, paper uh, cases. Just a normal average uh, cupcakes. Of course, you can use any cupcake recipe of your choice. Chocolate or vanilla doesn't really matter. So what we do is, second, we take small amount of uh, vanilla frosting and apply uh, thinly on top of a uh, cupcake, just a thin layer. Uh, it works as a keep our cupcakes is moist and same time works as an adhesive for fondant. So what we do is next, once we done that, as you can see, it doesn't need to apply much. Uh, we use green color fondant. Uh, roll out and use the uh, cookie cutter to make sure it just, check it out, make sure it's fit size of your uh, cake. So this one particular is 78 uh, millimeters or 3.07 inches. So we cut out um, a circle. And what we do is next place on top of a cupcake and we spam off uh, our hand nicely smooth it. Just smooth, make sure it falls into shape of a top of a cupcake, just like that. As you can see, it's already done. So, this is how it looks like. Uh, so, what we do is next, we will uh, cut out, uh, because you can prepare as many as you want cupcakes like that, and just set them aside. So, what we do is next, we're just using variety of cookie cutters or fondant plungers, doesn't really matter, whatever you have available at your home. So, what we do is just a small amount of uh, the uh, powdered icing sugar, make sure your hands does not stick to the fondant. And um, if you like, you can use uh, something like uh, the art palette to place your cut out fondant or you can use uh, the um, uh, patty pan, which is just like I use uh, a, a lot because it's very easy. And uh, as you can see, I made it last night a lot of flowers. So what we do with uh, the, um, the um, uh, patty pan, we just tiny bit, tiny bit dust, just a little bit, just enough to make sure small uh, specks of the powdered icing sugar to prevent uh, sticking. As, as you can see, it's all done and they just easily come out. So, set aside uh, whatever you're using, a uh, palette or patty pan. Um, and for the butterflies, I just simply use uh, the harder cotton, which is I bend, as you can see, in this sort of shape and place non-stick baking uh, paper on top. Um, it's prevent sticking fondant as well as it's just very clean too. So what we do is we simply cut out now uh, our shapes. So we can uh, start from a larger. Uh, if you like, you can make even more difficult type of uh, um, uh, shapes like roses. You just simply have to uh, roll uh, a few of uh, the uh, rounds, uh, just a cookie cutter, small, smallest or second smallest on your row. You just simply um, uh, basically cut out uh, uh, rounds and what you do is join them together in a rose shape, if you like to do so. Uh, I probably will make, will, will make some daisies and various other flowers. So cut out in about two mils uh, um, the thick, thickness. And what we do is next, it's nicely done. We 
just place our prepared uh, potting pot. And what we do is next, uh, we make some flour. So we use a large daisy cutter. Cut out. And as you can see, this is how it gets out. But we want a little bit more uh, to get a shape. So simply use your thumb and lift. Press it slightly and just lift edges. Press it slightly and lift edges. As you can see, it's already beautifully shaped. So what you do is place on uh, to the um, cavity of your patty pan and we cut out. You can do as many as you like. It comes in four shapes, but I use the third one because it's not that small, but same time uh, the uh, large enough to shape it beautiful flower. Here we are, and we do exactly something. We just carefully and gently press uh, end of the petals and just shape them in a little bit more realistic type of uh, shape. So what we do is, um, if you like, you can use sugar glue, but to stick little particles of various uh, flowers um, and uh, you can easily use simple water uh, and uh, simply brush middle of the flower, press it, not press, place it like that. I just move it this once, make sure I'm able to show you a little bit closer. And just place it like that in the shape of flower. And what we do is next, we need to make some middle uh, of the uh, flower, which is we will use blue color, a little tiny ball of a blue color fondant. Once we uh, these um, flowers uh, will dry, uh, then best of all to attach them with a, on top of cupcake with the sugar glue or edible glue or the sugar syrup. So we place little ball and slightly press it in to form beautiful flower. As you can see, it's practically done. It's actually very nice once it's come out. So what we do is next, we can make some uh, butterflies, for example. You can choose whatever size of butterfly would you like. Um, we have some little yellow butterfly. And what we do with butterflies, we simply place them on our prepared cotton lined with non-stick baking paper, place on the middle and just tiny bit, tiny bit press it to make sure it falls into shape. And cut out as many as you like. A butterfly comes in three different uh, sizes, but you can see how big your flowers as well because you don't want massive butterflies sitting on top of your flower. So, uh, I saw uh, easily could be uh, cut out any other shapes. So what we do with these ones, it's uh, ready to go. And uh, we can place right here, brush with a small amount of uh, sugar glue and add a little blue ball. Just right in the middle. So as you can see, it's you can make this sort of flowers from uh, the um, different color fondant. Um, and uh, best of all, I just place them a little bit closer, make sure you're able to see them. Uh, as you can see, you can make pink and white and purple um, with the um, this particular. Uh, uh, pink, we just simply use a different uh, size of uh, this uh, sort of uh, type of um, fondant uh, plunger and we use 
uh, actually three layers and as you can see it's come out very nice so uh, cut out as many as you like and use uh, the um, many different colors orange and white uh, blue uh, and attach uh, middle for the flowers as well so what we do with the I would like to show the other one as well make sure you're able to see variety of colors can be used uh, the pink with red and the white with red which is really really nice simply uh, find uh, any available uh, fondant uh, plungers or small cookie cutters so once we're done all that and our butterflies as as well uh, what we do is we let them uh, to dry best of all to do that overnight because they nicely set and it's easily can be placed on top of cupcake once our decorations are uh, dry what we do is we start decorating best of all is uh, as i said before do decorations overnight or, or give it time enough to dry them and uh, um, they prepare a cupcake next day uh, so uh, place a green fondant and then attach the flowers like this you have a fresh cupcakes and a beautiful uh, decorations so what we do now Take a small piece of a green fondant, just a small bowl, like a marble size, roll it into sausage. And make sure the end a little bit and a little bit more thinner than the middle. So what we do is next, as you can see our sausage is done we cut it on half use a sugar glue or sugar syrup or edible glue depends on what country do you live it's called differently and what we do is we attach this two little green uh, sausages in the manner of uh, the um, of a plant Here we go, just like this. Or similar, doesn't need to be exactly the same. You can make, maybe make a little bit different direction. So once we've done that, what we do is we place um, sugar glue. Just enough to make sure we place our flour properly. Touch flour right on the middle nicely and secure now and we start adding various uh, the flowers and uh, little and uh, large flowers in it make sure it's a it stays in a beautiful uh, shape so I just look at which is better to place larger or smaller now let's have a look gently attach various uh, decorations now we have a little blue flowers and continue continue doing until the all flowers you like to be attached is done. Now what we do is also we place a beautiful blue butterfly on top, just a brush sugar glue on top and place it in a position as it sits on top of flower just find the right position only <laughs> you 
this one particular does not want seed on that flower but I think we will make it so what you do is once it's all once it's all attached what we do is let it set to make sure it's all stick properly in you put it on a serving uh, plate uh, here as you can see we place uh, the purple flower with various um, uh, decorations of uh, daisies and the other um, flowers as well uh, I just like to uh, a little bit closer to show make sure you're able uh, to see uh, the uh, combinations of the colors we use um, if you like to replicate exactly the same or have your own design it would be wonderful uh, thank you very much for your time with me today I hope you like this a simple creation of a, a flower a cupcakes uh, thank you very much for your time with me today until next time goodbye